What's going on everybody, Almost Evil 33 here, and today I have another Battlefield 3 gameplay commentary for you guys, and I am playing some air superiority on abandoned flats. Now, I'm just going to get this out of the way really quickly. I am not the best jet pilot in any way, shape, or form at all. I am just trying to enjoy the air superiority game mode as much as I can. I kind of stink with the jets, I'm well aware of that. So you don't need to comment down below saying, Hey Evil, I can get more jet kills than you in air superiority. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. It's okay. I understand I'm not that good of a jet pilot. Leave me be. I'm just trying to enjoy myself. But anyway, I wanted to talk today about Battlefield 3 as a whole. I mean, it's pretty crazy to say, but Battlefield 3 is done. I mean, the map packs are finished, they're complete, and although EA and DICE are going to continue to support this game, what you're seeing with the endgame expansion pack is the last of the expansions for Battlefield 3. There's no more being added to the base game. This is it. And it's awesome. It really is. I just wanted to kind of talk about the final product or the end result of Battlefield 3 throughout the past year or so. Actually, about a year and a half now, I think. And the end result is fantastic. I mean, this game rocks. It really does. There were some low points that it might have had in the past, but I think... In general, this game is really good. I mean, every time I sit down and play it, I enjoy myself more and more. I mean, seriously. It's just so addicting, it's fun, it's intuitive, it's a very different experience from a lot of first-person shooters that were kind of clogging the Modern Warfare series. And I really, really enjoy Battlefield 3. I think it took some of the best aspects from Battlefield Bad Company 2, and although it could have done a little more from Battlefield 2 on the PC, I think it did a good job trying to make a game that a lot of people can enjoy from a lot of different games. I mean, people came to play Battlefield 3 all the way from Call of Duty, from Battlefield 2 on PC, from Bad Company 2 on any platform. People from all over came to play Battlefield 3, and I think EA and DICE did a great job attracting as many people as they could in making a really good game. So I'm just going to kind of talk really quickly about the expansions and how they've added to the game. Now I think my favorite expansion personally is Back to Karkand, and it's been that way since day one of getting the limited edition version of this game because it came with Back to Karkand for free without having to buy premium, even though I'm obviously a premium player as well. I think Back to Karkand was the best expansion pack. I mean, the guns were awesome, the maps were incredible, I mean, they were great, there's no doubt about that, and I think that that expansion was just the one that the most time was poured into. And we actually got, I think, more, or at least, what we paid for. At least what we paid for. Because of all the weapons and all the assignments and all that stuff. Some of these other ones, I kind of wish they would give us more guns. I mean, come on, you call the M1911 S-TAC, you call that extra weapons? I don't. That was supposed to be just a pistol that was for the dice devs of the game. So they didn't even have to program anything, they just made it public. So I don't even think that should count as a weapon, but anyway, I'm getting off topic. I just wanted to say that the end result of Battlefield 3 was great. I am just so happy with the direction that EA and DICE took this game, and I know I kind of sound like a fanboy here, but really I'm not. Think about it. EA and DICE made a map pack, or an expansion pack, whatever you want to call it. They made one for any kind of player that Battlefield 3 may have attracted. They did Close Quarters, they did Armored Kill, they did Back to Karkand, and then Aftermath and Endgame were just kind of really cool expansions that they just threw in for everybody. But they appealed to a large mass of people, and they did a great job doing that. And I love this game. I really love the way that it turned out, and I always will. And I'll remember this game, and I hope all you will too, because it was a great game. It really was. And that pretty much wraps up everything I have to say about it. I mean, they made a balanced game that's just a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun, and it's very addicting, and I hope they can bring that fun back to Battlefield 4. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. That really helps out both me and Pixel Enemy. And don't forget to check out my channel. There's a link on your screen and in the description, so make sure you come over and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.